What's up, guys? Kevin Smith here. Not really, but that's... Lester, but not really. Ah, I gotcha. Got you, good, you fuckers. <laughs> now, today we're going to keep it really short because we're going to bitch about the PlayStation Neo, a.k.a. PS4, the PS4 Pro. Pro. What the fuck is PlayStation doing? That's not PlayStation, Sony. <laughs> what the fuck is Sony doing? It makes no sense. First off, they, I think the plan was to release it before Sco any news of Scorpio from Microsoft. That's Microsoft what they Microsoft were trying to do. They 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 were trying to release <clears throat> um, uh, as much information and like, here's what you guys are gonna expect. But then like, now we're just at the point where, do we really need it? And then they see Scorpio, and. Everything about Scorpio's power wise is just going to ram Sony's ass because it is. I mean, plain and simple, it just looks really fucking strong. It, it does, actually. It looks like a very strong system. <clears throat> what doesn't make sense to me is. No, this is actually everyone's complaint. Everyone has the same complaint over and over and over again. It's just the fact that even though it does play a Blu ray disc, it doesn't play a Blu ray DVDs. Yeah, or it also doesn't play in 4K. Like no, it the, play 4K. the no, it'll play in 4K, but it doesn't have the Blu-ray no, Blu 4K, 4K on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, here's the thing about the Scorpio. I think Microsoft is doing it far enough out that it's pretty much going to be a new system. I think we're going to find out that it's going to be delayed and it's going to end up being a new system rather than what Sony's doing with this. Stupid Neo Four Pro. Yeah, I know. To 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 be quite honest, I don't think. I mean, what I think their their mindset was that since you know how YouTube is a big thing or Twitch is also a big thing, they're trying to make it to where it's easier for people who do those kind of those kind of things. I'm um, uh, more easier for them to do, which is like that's cool and everything. But at the same time, it's like, do we really need it? Uh, like it's. You own a PS4, right? Yeah, I have one. Like, is there anything about the Pro that would make you say, well, first off, I don't have a 4K TV, so that stops me right there. But is there anything about a Pro that says you are going to go buy one day one? To be honest, no. Nothing. Because, because um, I don't really have... There's For me, there is not that many good games right now for the PS4. For me, at least. Everyone else, there probably is, like... Um, the only the only two games I did really did got was just Final Fantasy Type Zero, which I still haven't played yet or gotten very far, in, and Guilty Gear Revelators. Which... I was stupid. I got Type Zero on Xbox One, <clears throat> and it played like shit. It plays <laughs> so much better on PS4. Sorry, Xbox but yeah, One. I only got those just those two games, and my sister just got Call of Duty. Um, what was it? Ghost? No, it's not Ghost. It's, it's, it's one of the colors. Oh, movies. go ahead and I saw a video on Facebook. Give your sister's Twitch page out. Give her a shout out. <laughs> Since I saw on Facebook, make people watch her. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, um, so, every... Um, we... No, well, not, it's not we. It's more like my sister. My sister uh, is doing her own little Twitch thing, which I'm her only view because I'll just, I just gave her the view. Um, her Twitch... Her Twitch um, account is... I lean on you, which is a play on words with her act with her name being Eileen. Right. Um, I spelled E I L E E N. That's how you actually spell her name, by the way. And then just on you, and just regular, like like as if all one word, all in one word. Dot Twitch. Okay, so keep an eye out at her. It'll be hilarious because we're trying to grow a Twitch thing here too, <laughs> because. I really can't do anything but play video games at the moment, so I'm going to start getting into the Twitch stuff. And hopefully I can get him to start Twitching some um, card games. Because, like, Twitch... I need a whole new setup for that, man. I yeah, need, like... that, that's something we definitely need to grow into. But uh, what gave me the idea is there's, like, these people now, ever since Stranger Things came out on Netflix, Yeah, people are, like... Uh, twitching their whole D and D campaigns, and these campaigns are fucking amazing. Like doing fucking accents and shit, like totally <laughs> rocking out the costumes, like just totally kick ass and everything. So, um, but 
back to the the pro. There's nothing about it that says buy me. <laughs> exactly. First off, the price is stupid. So is it not sixty nine ninety nine? Yeah, it's ninety nine ninety nine. It's it's the price isn't horrible. It's not bad. It's, it's just the console. It's it's just not worth it. It's you can get a one terabyte now for what is it three three ninety nine for a one terabyte? I heard they dropped it to two ninety nine ninety nine. I think the a five hundred gig is two ninety nine. Is it? Yes. So the five hundred gigs two ninety nine ninety nine. The one terabyte's three ninety nine ninety nine, and then rumored price is going to be four ninety nine for. I don't, I don't know the slims out, isn't it? Um, the slim is going to end up. I mean, yes, that's going to be three ninety nine. The slim is three ninety. Is it going to be three ninety nine? Yeah. I thought it would be two ninety nine. Yes, because like because like they would do the the, the exact same thing with um, a PS four or the PS three, or the bigger ones with like. It was like a redu- it was like I, I wrote know. it down, but I can't find it. <laughs> but like it, so. was, it was a ridiculous amount. Um, I think the regular PS4 when it was like eighty, it was like um uh, three. It was like four ninety nine ninety nine or three ninety nine ninety nine. Shit, when like, it first came out, it was like six hundred bucks, wasn't it? it? Wasn't like five ninety nine for a fucking PS3? Or it some was five ninety nine for I think the and, backwards compatible for backwards 60 compatible gig. for either sixty or eighty. Ridiculous and. I kind of just wanted the two the twenty because I, I figured I wasn't gonna buy that much games. But then when I actually did buy my PS three, I actually bought more games than I thought I could, than I thought I would. So now I'm looking into buying another PS three, so I could have my own separate stuff in. Three, if I'm remembering ones. what I wrote down, the Slims two ninety nine ninety nine, <clears throat> the PS four Pro is gonna be three ninety nine ninety nine. Really? Yes. 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 <laughs> That's what I'm remembering. Because, back to you. because all it's really adding is Just UHD, which is Ultra HD, yeah. which most TVs, unless you're buying something brand spanking new, doesn't have UHD anyway. And if you're not buying a 4K TV for fucking four grand, it doesn't matter anyway. So once again, it's a system that doesn't make sense. It will up... Resolute, your it does have the up resolutions for um, if you do have the UHD TV, it yeah. will up res your movies and your games and and all that. And so, so I mean, there are positives to it that like one positive to it if you have a 4K TV, it's worth maybe it's worth to spend the money on, but really, other than that, I it doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't need to be there. What they should have done, and this is what I think: make the slim come out this year, or beginning of 2017, and then announce the PlayStation Five for late 2018, like Christmas season 2018, and I was then 2019. Or, or we could even say 2019. Well, no. But no. I think with. Console generations are going to get smaller. How we're long? already seeing that. Yeah, we're, they are getting smaller. At, at this point. So I think... How long, wait, how long was the gap between between each console gen, each console generation? It's usually... I think they usually say five years. It's like five years, right? Five, Cause, five cause, to ten. Because they, they eventually find better specs on how to actually make it better, better, right? Yeah, and that's why you always see like the slim models and shit. It's, they find a cheaper way to make it or... Putting bigger memory in it, or they, they made they made the bulky version for people to buy, and then like, oh, here's a smaller version. So like where Xbox is doing it right with the with the slim model, which is now their base model, it's a smaller machine that actually runs 4K UHD, and they're not charging anything extra for it. Yeah, it does everything that this this Pro does. The the Pro. Like you said, a big thing for it was supposed to be like the Twitch and uh, yeah, like Twitch, like stream, game stream, basically feeds. streaming and everything. Yeah, it's basically for like stream and I guess if you're in like a competitive play, i.e., all first person, third person shooters, like you you want all those high detail graphics ish kind of sort of, right. but like you also need faster um, uh, processing, so high speed 
shooting and everything. Which look, folks, if you went out and you bought a 4K TV, you'll probably buy it. It makes sense. It's a it's a worth buy for if you for buy all it. five of you that have bought a 4K TV. I it just doesn't make any sense for for Sony. Like it's almost like they're wanting Microsoft to catch up. Like, oh, hey, here, we're, it's time for us to fucking play PS3 all over again. Because they screwed up with the PS3. By the end of that console generation, they got it right. PS3 was finally, you know, catching up with Microsoft. So, ever since PS4's come about... I thought, I thought Microsoft was catching up with PS3. Oh, no, no, no. Mark, PS3 was like... It was a disaster <clears throat> when it first came out. The first launches, or yeah, the first or like launch. the mid launches, where Microsoft screwed up was the Red Ring of Death. Oh yeah, like Sony didn't have that problem. Sony had the problem of uh, first party titles. Um, oh, yeah. You know, pricing was like nobody who, who was <clears throat> going to pay five hundred ninety nine dollars for an eighty gig. Like it, it just so so that once they fixed all the pricing, then you know PS three took off, and. Uh, First thing that is never going to happen, Microsoft will never win in Japan. Oh, yeah, because Japan is too biased. Japan loves... I mean, they are they are the epitome of what a Nintendo or a Sony fanboy is. And most of them, in most cases, are Nintendo, Sony fanboys in the same. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Like, I think Japan has a better variety of games than we do. Because we're all way too centered on shooting games and, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Well, even our role-playing games. We screwed up what role-playing games are. Yeah, we kind of did. The, a Western role-playing game, it, it, it's it's an open-world adventure game now. It's too, not role-playing game anymore. anymore now. Huh? We made it too linear. Yeah, it's... It, that was Final Fantasy XIII's biggest complaint. <clears throat> they made it way too linear. Like, it was literally a straight... I mean, well, that and the summons were fucking automobiles, but... <laughs> I, don't get me started on that. Uh, Thir- Thirteen just wasn't their greatest shot. Let's just say that. No, and, and they've messed up on several titles. You know, like uh, when um, fourteen, the online game first came out, that was a total screw up. They had to redo that and come out with uh, Final Fantasy fourteen Realm Reborn. Yeah, and so so nobody's perfect. Everybody's making a mistake, except for Microsoft right now. This this this. Xbox One S is brilliant. It's, it's it, it beat PlayStation to the punch. It's not charging anything extra for it, and it's going to be as, pretty much as powerful as this whole new system that's coming out as its predecessor. And it, did you see the design of the PS4 Pro? Yeah, I did. It looks like two slims stacked on top of each other. It's, pretty funny. it's like what the fuck is the point? It's pretty funny. I like. Somebody was sitting here designing it like, what the fuck? Okay. Okay, here we go. That works. Let's do it. It's like, no. It, it And it makes me mad because I am... I Pro Sony. I'm pro Sony. 100%. Though I have my Xbox One, I just I spend way more time on my PS4. I think it's, it's better for, uh, like, not... Since I don't do shooters, it's better. If I was a short shooter person, I'd be spending time on Xbox One because the controller is better for yeah the for shooters. That's, but, that's like my biggest thing about like consoles. Really, it's like one one console just does one genre better. I just fuck you, Sony. Like, why? What? What, what possessed you? <laughs> what is? <laughs> Lost for words. Words cannot describe. What in this, like... Thought process. And the the guy that you have working for you that spoke on this at this PlayStation event that was... You guys should have at least announced a Vita 2 or something. Like... Because Vita's finally catching on. It's time to re- release a new handheld system. Or fix that. Put new triggers on it. Get rid of the rear touch screen. Nobody wants that. Fix that. Make a PS Vita 2. No Would have totally made rear. sense. Nobody uses the rear, the rear touch screen at all. Unless you're playing old PlayStation games where you have, or like 
Final Fantasy is where to run. You have to try and find the right spots on the back to fucking use the True. triggers. Whereas if you just add triggers, triggers and bumps to the top of the, you have a Vita too, and people are happy. And it it just you you made this mistake. You made this, it, and it it was an error that didn't need to happen. Like they they could have announced, hey, we've got the system going on. You know, Microsoft also has a system. We we're, we're going to see what Microsoft's going to do before we you know show our cards. Well. It was too late. Things are already starting to slip. And once that happened, it's like, okay, fine. We just have to do this. We have to We have to show what this Neo is. I, they still haven't really shown shit. Like, the, when they... I know, I know, like, what they did was, like, they tried to showcase, like, the graphics. Did you watch the, the, the conference for it? The, Almost like a small snippet of it. Like, in if you don't have a 4K fucking TV, guess what? You couldn't fucking tell. It was pointless. There, it there, it made no sense. Oh, the sun's brighter. Oh, it's the fucking sun. Yes, it's bright. We get it. It's supposed to be bright. Jesus, I. <sighs> <laughs> it it just it's it, unnecessary. It, it's it's a mistake that just didn't need to happen. Make the slim. The slim makes sense. It worked great for the. Up until this most recent PS3 Slim, the fucking slide, like, pizza oven, George Foreman grill fucking <laughs> PS3 Slim. Oh, oh, One yeah. where it, like, just slides. I, I don't know what that was, but the original Slim that came out for the PS3, oh, which... Well, the first Slim that were actually... Yeah, was, like, which I still rock. I have mine. Which was, like, was, like, this big. Yeah. It's, like, this big and then, like, this thick. And, but it was, like, rounded but like this. it was this. rounded. So, yeah. Unlike, so, unlike, unlike the other Slim was, like, it had the, the, the slidable the slidable door. And it even had, like, fucking, like, grooves in it and shit. It looked like a fucking grill. It, it just didn't make <laughs> sense. It's... So, what you do and what should have happened is, hey, we're announcing a Slim... You're getting into the holiday season. Release a slim at holiday season. Say we got something special coming next year. Make it like make it a a installation like a software update for UHD or for uh, 4K. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for right now? Yeah, 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 Rendering. Like, like you can do that. You could, you can do that with the software update. You, you, there, there's no, you, you don't have to build a system. That's the system. The system didn't need to happen. The system was perfect on its own. Like it just, it just needs a, 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 an update. That's all it needs. And this new Sony PS4 update, amazing. You can finally put stuff in folders. It makes things look more organized. It's, you are so many things right. And then you come up with something else. A PS4 Pro. I don't. It just didn't need to happen. <clears throat> yeah. I. You tell. You talk about it for a minute because my head's gonna explode. There's like nothing really to talk about. I mean, all, all, all there is really at what I see it for is for just streamers, really, and video content makers. Yeah, that's awesome and everything. Uh, but. To be quite honest, I really would not invest into it. I mean, yeah, if you want to be like a starting YouTuber or Twitch Twitch star, uh, by all means. If you want to spend the extra 400 500 whatever it's going to be, right. go for it. But if you don't have a 4K or UHD TV, you're fucked. It's, I'm sorry, you're fucked. It's just, if you, are already, if you already bought a fucking $7,000 laptop... You already have everything you need right there. Sorry, Sony. I'm going to tell them not to buy your stupid fucking system. Makes no sense. Sorry. And I love you, Sony. I I love you. I really do. This pains me to say. Like it's, it's so one of the, it's one of the it's one of the not so good moves that they've done in a while. It's like uh, so you have a PR person, right? Like like for our job working on a military base. If if we talked shit, like if we came out saying, okay, this is, we're just going to fucking blow this building down and just start building this one brand new on our own. And it's, oh, it's just going to look better. No. 
our PR team would be like, what the fuck? No, first off, you're wasting money. Second off, you're idiots. No. What, where, who, where's that person? It's called renovation. It's called renovation. You, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to destroy something that already exists only just to rebuild it to look better. And to hear that the fucking, the game is going to play not differently, but it has to have, it, it has to run a special update to play these are rumors. This has not been confirmed. Oh, but, special updates to like play on a higher clarity and everything. Yeah, else? like for so ever all the games that come out once this pro come out, comes out is going to be playable on the pro and on the PS4. Yeah, that's what I, that's what. I okay. Mean. So that's a, that's an updated that's an updatable app. But it's going to have to be a software update on one one side that allows you to play this game. Mm-hmm. So you just made it harder for a good kind of gamers, actually. For well, for companies to create, for, like what's been so good about Sony right now is their open market for like their indie games. Sony's indie games have been amazing. They have a lot of good indie games. Like the, I'm not in, gonna lie. the indie games, the, are, their their PS Store is still good. I mean, I I have a PS4, but it's with it's under my sister's jurisdiction. But I'm uh, on my PS3. I I check on the store every so often on sales and everything. Yeah. And they, some of the indie games actually look pretty good. But I don't have the budget to actually invest into buying some some of the games. I think Super like. Super Meat Boy was I think what did it for me for indies. But uh, well, well did, Lim- did it, Limbo what, was great. Unravels great. But what I did it for me was um, uh, Fat Princess. Fat Princess. I I had it on the PlayStation uh, uh, PSP. So PlayStation Portable, folks. If you don't remember that, then I I, I played Fat Princess on the on the PS uh, on the PS3, yeah. only because my friend was like, "Dude, you should play Fat Princess." I'm like, why? What's so great about Fat Princess? You're literally a fat princess trying to eat cake. No, I mean, no, you, you're you're one of the you're one of the Yuma, one of the Yuma elves. Or whatever. Yeah, carrying. No, no, no. You can either carry or feed or build. In which I was the one that actually did all the building. Oh, did you? Yeah. I I I, 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 I did the building. I would, I, did, I, I guess I would have been the running gunner. Well, the running feeder. Like, yeah, but like for for me, um, I I was more the, uh, I was more the um, uh, the, the wood, Str- wood, str- the wood str- chipper. Str- 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 the oh the worshiper no no not the worshiper but the the, um, uh, the worker I was the worker oh, class yeah, yeah. because like they, they have a higher they have like the the highest um, charge charge weapon where it just goes like in like a, a second but it doesn't do that much damage though but it's just quicker and easy and you can and it recharges like really fast yeah it's like the it's like the quickest recharge ever and I'm like that's pretty awesome if it wasn't that then I would have been like the bomber and just spam bombs oh, <laughs> just yeah. just because no no it was the worker there we go. Because you can switch between them, which, which one you want to be. You say they want to be the first first level worker or second level worker. Second level worker had bombs. Which you could throw. Which you could throw, which I thought was pretty funny. And, like, also the the um, the hat. The the hat factory. See, see Sony, we love you. <laughs> we're, we're talking positives now. Okay? That, 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 the, the hat factory, like, always dispenses out, like, the, the big bomb that you can take around yeah. with you. That was pretty fun. Like, Sony does so many things, right? It's just... It, An un- unforced error. I don't mm-hmm. even know if unforced error is the word. It, it's unforced just unforeseen. It's no like no. They knew, they knew what they were doing. Oh, this the they, they, they knew they fucked up. They just they're just trying to cover it up. With how far ahead they are with the PS4, I think they looked at themselves as invincible in this in this console generation. They were too high on their horse. And unfortunately, they just got they kind of jaw kicked fell because. Off. Right in the nuts. Um, but I can't talk about that anymore because I already take blood pressure medicine. Uh, Anyways, we're going to move on to something um, uh, different in this segment now. So... Tokyo Game Show was a couple days ago. We watched two trailers to two games that we're both kind of excited for. He's excited for Final Fantasy XV. I'm also excited for Final Fantasy XV, but I'm also excited for Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Which, to me, sounds like it's going to be epic. The um uh, the the most recent trailer that came out at um uh, TG, TGS was um uh, pretty awesome, but it seemed like it looked more like a separate game on its own for an Aqua story. 
as along with um uh, the side story of if you guys ever played um uh, Chain Unchained, Unchained yeah oh yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the game app yeah the little, the little game app that you play on your phone um I guess they're gonna dabble in that story too for me I picked the fox because I was like I didn't want to be a bear or whatever it's, the other one it's it's a it's free to play just download it on your phone it's a, it's a free to play app free like, to play app it's it's if app. if you like Kingdom Hearts you'll have fun with it it's it, it's, it, it's it basically it basically plays almost like no actually it does kind of feel like it plays exactly like Chain of Memories from the GBA yeah that's that's what I was trying to com- compare it to yeah it, like, it basically play, plays like GBA Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories which I, I guess I can see the parallel yeah. <laughs> because Chain Chain yeah. Well, whatever, whatever. Apparently, also my uh, my girlfriend told me that um, Unchained actually had an, actually has a end to it. So the game actually does end. The app actually does end. It's not it's not like a forever like a forever run around and grind core. See, that's kind of like I'm playing. Well, I'm playing a lot of Final Fantasy apps right now. Free games. Uh, Final Fantasy Final Fantasy Mobius, which is an amazing free to play. Is it the uh, one that the free roaming one? Um. Uh. No. 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 Mobius is it's pretty linear. Um. You're this character who um, it's kind of telling the story of chaos and stuff, kind of from like the Dissidia series. Oh. Uh. But you're every so whatever you name your character, every character that goes there is named that. So, they're trying to bring all these. So, like, for me, my nickname's Dobby. That's been my nickname since I was a little kid. So, it's Dobby for everything. So, I put that nickname in, and it's like, are you the Dobby? Are you the one that, you know, has, like, the magic person? powers? Are you that so, person? Yeah, yeah. You are and, that main character. Are you that yeah. person? Yeah. And, like, uh, so, it, it's, uh, the fighting style of it is, um, it's, I mean, it's... Kind of like the Unchained on its, you know, click and oh, tap, click swipe, the, tap, tap, swipe, swipe do poke, special whatever. things. Uh, another one is, and the one I really recommend because it has free roaming aspects to it, uh, is Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Yeah, that's, that's what I know. Um, and it's a huge game. It has um, different continents. It has a vortex world. It has a coliseum. Um, I've spent, I think I already have 68 hours into it or something like that Holy for Jesus, a phone dude. game. Holy like Jesus. it's, and there's daily like, uh, trials that you have to do and you get, you know, they call it lapis instead of, uh, um, crystals, but they call it lapis and you can get new characters with it and stuff like that rather than spending real money. Which, I mean, you can spend real money. You can spend real money to get anything. Um, and then there's Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Another free one. Um, and I played that for a bit and then I stopped playing it. Uh, they they yeah, I did, stopped I did. working for a while yeah, because I they did, did a big I, update to it. Yeah, I did, um, I did play that. And then I stopped playing it because... Because it's one where you go into, like, say, Portal for Final Fantasy IX, and then you have to fight through, like, main parts of Final yeah. Fantasy IX, and then that storyboard, like, yeah, that, the that, picture comes yeah. back. Yeah, that, yeah, I did play that one, but I stopped playing it because I kind of just stopped playing it. And then, my favorite one that I'm spending the most time on is um, just the Final Fantasy Portal uh, what you log into every day, you get points, which go towards the Final Fantasy Mobius, Brave Exvius, and Record Keeper. But on uh, Final Fantasy Portal, it's literally just uh, the Tetra, Triad Tetra. That's the card game uh, from Final Fantasy VIII, where you actually like go up and you know. I remember that was on the. Um, uh... Wait, do you have the? As Galaxy? a matter of fact. Yeah, you have a Galaxy, yeah. Yeah, it was on the Galaxy. I couldn't get it. I can't get it on the iPhone. <laughs> yeah, it's not in the iOS yet. Yeah, that's... Yes. that's I, I saw, like, oh, man. I saw, I saw this one guy playing playing it, like, dude, I love that game. The only reason why I hate it... The only reason why I hate it is because like, I keep losing at it. Plus, I could not understand combos and everything, and, and almost everything seems to seem kind of BS. It's, in, it's called Triple Triad. It's from um, one of the actual Final Fantasy games. Um... Which, 
Gotta get the music going for it here in a second. But yeah, um, I I like I like the card game in it, but like I hated the eight eight cards because they were too hard to find. Well, see, and that's the cool thing about this one is like, but like when I played it on nine, it, it, it was so simple for some reason. So, you start it up, you're playing the game, I already have a noticeable amount of, so I've already beat all the one, like all the way through the hard, um, like I've been playing it non-stop, uh -huh. but say I'm going to play Cloud here real quick, and then there's the rules, which is probably what he was talking about, like, um, <clears throat> there's one of the rule variation is all open, so this one's easy. That just means that you guys each see all of the cards, so you can kind of plan out how you're gonna play. Yeah, I played that. I played yeah, cause like eight had that is either open or closed. Yeah, and yeah. playing it closed is like pretty. There's the game, and then you pick whichever one you want to put it somewhere. And if I lose because of this, I can't do it. Like whatever. <laughs> but anyways, Final Fantasy Portal. Um, Only on. The Android uh, shop. Yeah, the Android shop. It's not on iOS yet. But it did just send out a message saying it's the iOS patches are being fixed and stuff. So, I mean, here, I would here love, very soon. I will, I will probably be playing that over, like, all the other Final Fantasy games. Like, because I really did enjoy the, uh, that card mechanic game. It was, just, it was just fun. It's just that I hated, like, not having enough cards to play. And just the music, like... The old Final Fantasy Eight ones. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's the the music to each one, and like for Brave Exvius, the theme, like the overall music, it, like this drew me in as soon as I downloaded this game. Like I knew I was gonna love it because it took me back to Final Fantasy One on regular Nintendo. Like that's how far it took me back. Yeah, you know. Like, anyways, so you guys got to hear us bitch about this PS4 Pro, Pro Neo needs to go. Pro, I think. I, I think. I I told my I told my sister to um, um to put a um uh, what was it a uh, reserve reserve on the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 because we're gonna actually. Be, what my sister wants to do is that we're gonna actually buy all the other points, point whatever on my Kingdom Hearts for the PS4, or whatever we can. How cheap! I have them on PS3. As a matter <clears> of fact, <throat> you know what's gonna happen after I'm done filming this? I'm gonna play Kingdom Hearts. I'm gonna play me some Kingdom Hearts. You know, go back. <laughs> but but yeah. I can't Twitch because I don't think PS3 has Twitch, does it? No, didn't think so. But not, well, Fucking PS3. <laughs> no, well, you just can't, kidding. Well, okay, okay. To be technically fair, you can actually stream it. By just, taking my laptop in there and streaming it? I think you it. can, but it requires, like... All these and, updates and, and, and shit. And an ungodly amount of setup. I forgot how. You can probably look. You can probably YouTube it up if you want to. Oh, anyways, uh, real quick about uh, Final Fantasy XV and about Kingdom Hearts uh, 2.8. Uh, the rumored release date for Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is January 24th, 2017. So this coming up next year but we're not going to get our hopes up because yeah, i say don't get your hopes up too high it might get pushed because where's kingdom hearts 3 kingdom hearts 3 anybody know yet it's funny because like, we always 3? get trailers for three no bail you <laughs> i mean it's, it's somebody it's, it's really somebody? Fun. it's really really funny though because we get Something, we got like right? one or two trailers of three and then like they're like, oh man, we totally forgot about two point eight. Yeah, and it's like, let's 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 um uh, let's put two let's promote two point eight a little bit more. And the video they shown where it's like the roller coaster when you're fighting the uh, Colossus, the Titan from the Hercules world. Yeah, when you're fighting him and you're in on the ship roller coaster from yeah. Disney World, like that's <laughs> kick ass shit, man. Like. There, I I don't understand but, but that. The fact, but the fact that like they're like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts three, and they're like. Oh wait! Before Kingdom Hearts three, we're gonna make Kingdom Hearts two point eight, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why are you doing this? But, but it will come, and the proof is in the pudding, and that pudding is Final Fantasy fifteen. We've been waiting ten years, and on November thirtieth, yeah, we did wait a long time actually. November 29th, actually, 
November 29th, I will have my still book, Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy 15, 15, with the full <laughs> Brotherhood anime. Yeah, yeah. And the full um, movie. So, uh, I'm, that's, uh, that's, that's hype right there for you, man. I'm, I'm pretty stoked it's, for, see, stoked see for what it. you got, what you got is, um, uh, is, is hype, is hype drive. Like, in that, in the movie's already out, like, you could watch it, but I am waiting and I'm gonna open that case. First thing I'm gonna do is watch the anime. And then watch the movie. And then watch the movie, because it plays along, like, with the, the, the storyline goes with the game. And then I'm going to go in the game, man. And then Kevin's just going to be like, maybe I'll learn how to Twitch. Like, I'm 90 years old. I still write I still write stuff down. Who, Like, who writes stuff down? I I guess he does too. But he's an Indo-Pacific Islander. He don't, they don't have... Indo-Pacific Islander. They don't have electricity. Culture check. They don't have electricity <laughs> where he's from. Um, uh, well, okay. Um, if you want to start up Twitching... You can set it up on your PS4, so you can Twitch. I already downloaded it. Oh, you did. I just have to learn how to like. I'm I'm following people like I'm following Jessica Chobot, Jessica Chobattlebot, and like I'm getting ready. I follow the guys from. Um, I I think I've mentioned them before. Um, P.S. I love you, XOXO, uh, which is uh, they're from San Francisco, and they have. <laughs> A Twitch web, they have a website that's really cool called Kind of Funny Games, and they are fucking hilarious. Like it's not kind of funny; it's actually funny. Yeah, it's like it's hilarious, and like they they have a bunch of different shows. They have Game Over Greggy. They have um, uh, the Sex Something Talk Show, where it's uh, like one of their buddies. He's not really a nerdy one; he's more like the suave. So he gets like this like. <laughs> he gives the love making techniques, so it's it's all joking and hilarious. It's hilarious. Um, and then there's one where it's just a uh, bunch of friends sit at the table, which I think is the game over G- Greggy. Obviously, P.S. I love you. XOXO is all Sony, yeah. um, all the time. So yeah, it shouldn't uh, be too hard for you to actually stream it. It took my it took my sister about like maybe a good hour or hour hour 20 minutes to actually get everything all set up it shouldn't take you that long yeah i'll, I'll get it figured out <clears throat> but here soon we i don't know i i'm not gonna cut my wrist i promise um <laughs> here soon i'm wanting to get set something set up to where maybe when john's off or something like that or get the wife up here season. we we yeah once he's done with harvest and, and crops and stuff we can set up a board game and Twitch out to uh to something, man. Like we'll, we'll play D and D. Like I I don't have any of the books anymore for it, but uh, talking about we don't we don't we just we just mess around. We make up our own rules. Make up, yeah, we like, make up our own rules. Like, if I roll if I roll a twenty, I get the fireball going off. Like one, literally Shit, a fire, wildfire. Like literally fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Where if you haven't watched Stranger Things, fucking watch it. It's so good. Anyways. I'm Kevin. I am not really Lester, but Lester. Um, uh, I think it's the hat. Well, actually, this is the hat. This is the hat edition. This is Lester. Hat the edition. Ro- the robot. But uh, no, seriously, I know it's short and sweet. But uh, I just my blood pressure's through the roof, and he's gonna stay like that until I stop this. So, I'm Kevin. He's Lester. I'm Kevin. Lester. This is part two of today's... I don't know when it's going to come out. This ain't going to so, come out anytime soon, but... Real quick, <laughs> Civil War just came out on... DVD, Blu-ray... Digital, all that bullshit. All that shenanigans. And I bought it, of course, because I, as a fanboy, <laughs> even if I don't like it very much, bought it. But <laughs> I'll, I'll let Lester talk on it for a minute, and then I am going to rip it to shreds. Well, first off, I enjoyed it. What I really did enjoy was the fact that um, it was it showed like, hey, we need to stop. But like, hey, if we give them power over us, they could use us to destroy 
any part of the world because they just already established that they are um uh, not really superhuman beings. Well, like a few of them are, but they they can do they can outperform just about any other people. But like they they just, they just stated like if we let the government control us, then we don't really control our own actions. They control our actions, right. which is what Iron Man wanted. Cause like we need to, we need to limit ourselves. I'm like, but Tony, you have a, a, a really good arsenal on you. Right. The, the moment they say bomb Japan, you, you have, have to, to bomb, bomb Japan. Japan. This is this <laughs> is exactly how I was gonna tear it apart. Certain shit like that. <laughs> like bitch about the Martha scene all you want in Batman vs Superman. I'm not gonna bitch over that anymore. But if I see. <laughs> One more person punching Crossbones in the face. And Crossbones mentioned Bucky. And all Captain America get all salty and sad. Fuck! Why is that okay? Why Why is that okay? Why? You fucking hypocrites. But... Damn (laughs) Americans. Fucking damn you Americans and having your choice of protesting and... All that shit, thanks to freedom of speech, my ass. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Whatever the case, I bought it when it first came out. My wife yelled at me because she wants me to wait several months when it gets cheaper, but I just can't do it. I buy it right away like an I'm idiot. About, it's not going to get any cheaper anytime soon. <laughs> no, she wanted me to buy Doomsday recently. Or not Doomsday. Uh, uh, that one That one movie. Superhero. Deadpool. Deadpool. Like... Because it's right now it's on sale. I'm like, it came out like fucking February or whatever. I'm not going to wait until October to buy Deadpool. I've already watched it like 200 million times. So funny. I'm buying it brand new when it came out. And guess what, wife? I did. She doesn't watch it anyway, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, just going to throw this out there. The only company... To have two movies make um, over three hundred million domestic this year, DC and WB, booyah! I'm Kevin Lester. We're out again.